So why should we care about cholesterol? Good question. Good question. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Dr. Jeffrey Lay. I'm a cardiologist. And today we're going to be talking about diets for high cholesterol. So why should we care about cholesterol? Certain types of cholesterol can increase your risk of having heart disease or stroke. What you eat can cause you to have high cholesterol. That cholesterol starts building up inside the arteries of your heart, the arteries of your neck, and the arteries of your brain. Blockages in those arteries can cause heart attacks in the heart. Blockages in the neck can cause carotid stenosis, which can lead to strokes. And blockages in the arteries of the brain can also cause strokes. You can even have blockages down in the leg arteries called your peripheral arteries that cause pain in the legs when you walk. If you have a lower cholesterol, it reduces your risk of having any of these diseases. If you have high cholesterol, try to include more fruits and vegetables in your diet. That means fresh fruit, leafy greens. Try to get that in any way you can. So I think there's an important distinction between good fats and bad fats. You should eat more monounsaturated fats, such as olive oil, canola oils, nuts, avocado, olives. You should prioritize polyunsaturated fats, such as omega-3s. Omega-3s can be found in salmon, mackerel, herring, or tuna, or any other fishes. You need fats for your body processes. You just don't want the bad fats. You want good fats. Like that? Yeah. And then there's bad fat. Your trans fats are the margarines, shortening, fried foods found in pastries and non-dairy coffee creamer. Saturated fats are the ones that often make your fats hard at room temperature. Those fats contribute to bad cholesterol and plaque and buildup and blockages inside the arteries of your body and contribute to your risk of having heart attacks and strokes and don't provide nutritional value to you. Just know the difference. There's good fats, there's bad fats. Pay attention to which fats you're putting into your body. I preach moderation to my patients. If you're eating red meat every other day, try to have it once a week. If you're having it once a week, try to have it once every two weeks. Listen to your body, you'll find the way. There are diets that have been proven to help patients with high cholesterol, such as the Mediterranean diet. If you're interested in hearing more about these diets, click on the link below and join the Heart Health newsletter. Although it may seem that way, diet is not the only way of controlling your cholesterol. Exercise can also lower your cholesterol. The more exercise you get in a week, and the recommendation is at least 150 minutes a week of moderate intensity exercise. Exercise is a great way to lower your cholesterol and keep your heart healthy. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Lay. If you like this talk on high cholesterol and diets, please click like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.